And this is why you do not install iOS 15 on your main device. What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and this is iOS 15. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of cool new features and changes that has been added to the Siri Shortcuts app. So we know that Apple, during the WWDC keynote, they covered new features with the focus ability. On top of that, they covered awesome new changes with the camera app, how you can take a photo of notes, and then you can go ahead and copy and paste the words that are in those notes. And they showed off a bunch of other cool new changes and features in the iOS 15 keynote. But what they failed to mention was all the new awesome changes with Siri shortcuts. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video, so let's get started. Siri Shortcuts also has a whole new redesign, so let's start off with the home page. So this is what you're greeted with when you go to create a new shortcut, and when you tap on add action, you get a whole list of categories that you can go ahead and use to create a shortcut. So you can just go ahead and view all the shortcuts, or what you can do is go ahead and view scripting, you can view media shortcut commands, you can view web commands, documents, or sharing commands, or you can favorite certain commands if you use them all the time when creating shortcuts. So if you go to all actions right here, you can tap on the information icon and then just favorite a shortcut. So that way, next time when you go to create a shortcut, boom, that is the shortcut you can use. And this is definitely a welcome change, but What's really cool is you can just view all of them like so, and they are all categorized, and they have just a new redesign with this circular app icon look. So, looks pretty cool, and it matches the new settings redesign. If you can see, everything's in like a an organized square. So, pretty cool. You can also view apps like this, and then search commands by app. So that's definitely a really cool feature. So if you wanna view commands for the camera, just go ahead and tap on the camera app. If you wanna view commands for music, just go ahead and tap on the music app. So pretty cool way to create shortcuts. If you go to create an automation, you are greeted with the screen and you can customize what you want your iPhone to do. Well, Apple added a new automation and this is what it is, the ability for your iPhone to recognize sound and then run a shortcut. So for example, when your iPhone hears the doorbell or when your iPhone hears an alarm, you can choose to either run a shortcut or you can choose to create a shortcut like open up an app and things like that. So this is really helpful. Maybe if someone's deaf, you can have your iPhone let you know if an alarm is going off and have a notification say, hey, that's a fire alarm or you know, that's a doorbell, make sure you check the ring that is at your door set. So the first thing I want to show you guys is an awesome new plethora of features that Apple has added. And this is really cool because it's shared with Mac OS and the iPhone. Now Apple has added custom shortcuts for split screen. Now what's cool about this view on the iPhone for shortcuts is that Apple's adding shortcut support for the Mac. Now this video is mainly gonna focus on the iPhone as far as Siri shortcuts goes. Let me know if you wanna see something on Mac. But Apple has added split screen support for the Mac with shortcuts. Now, what's odd is they made it available on the iPhone, but it doesn't actually work when you run. So there have been betas in the past where Apple has added shortcuts that don't work and then later on in beta 2 updates, beta 3 updates like that, then they do work. So there is a chance we could be seeing split screen abilities on the iPhone potentially by accessing shortcuts. So that's definitely a welcome change. So shortcuts is now more powerful and it's more organized and on top of that it's more polished in the sense that it doesn't have these crazy dumb animations that it used to have so that is about it for today's video thank you so much for watching and as always peace